Hi folks. Well, one of them dead terrorists was apprehended by the government of these here United States of America. He was a soldier that was AWOL, missing from the army. He was stationed in Fort Campbell, Kentucky and located just outside of Fort Hood, Texas. Now, he, he, here's what happened. He's a Muslim. He professes to be Muslim, be it by heritage or a recent convert. I have no idea, all right? Well, he joins the United States Army, which is a volunteer army. He was not drafted. And when he joined, he was a Muslim. Well, all of a sudden now, he says, Golly gee walkers, I can't stay in the United States Army. I have to file to be a conscientious objector because the United States Army is fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq. And it's again my religion for me to fight again my brother Muslims. So he filed to be a conscientious objector. Recently, it was discovered he had child pornography on his computer. So, isn't that against his religion also? Hmm. I'm confused there, as well as he was. So he goes AWOL and he disappears. He heads towards A. He travels south from Kentucky Camp Fort Campbell to uh, Fort Hood, Texas, where the massacre took place a couple of years ago by another member of the same faith, in which political, rec political correctness in the army refused to allow him to be identified the previous murderer. So this current guy here, he goes to a gun shop in Colleen, or near Colleen, the same gun shop that the previous murderer purchased weapons from. He purchases some gunpowder and weapons, and he's asking questions about it, which raise the alarms to the clerk saying, well, this guy has no idea what he's purchasing or what to do. So the clerk notified the authorities, and within a day, he was arrested in his motel room where all these weapons, bomb-making materials, and jihadist materials were discovered. Well, a member of the United States military said, wait a minute. It remains unclear if the plot was to attack Fort Hood, or it was just merely operational in nature. Operational in nature, meaning hopeful. What are you talking about? He had the material, he was AWOL, and he was near Fort Hood. What do you think he was going to do with that stuff? Once again, political correctness, playing cover for the terrorists in these here United States of America. Thank God for the clerk at the gun shop who alerted the authorities, or else we would have had another tragedy on our hands here. Which brings to mind... The murdering, the murdering terrorist, blonde hair, blue eyes, in Norway. He issued a manifesto, and I have a link to it in the description. And in there, there he describes all his twisted ideas. But the news media is so quick to say, See, he wasn't of uh, Arabian descent. He wasn't a Muslim. He was one of you Christians. You right-wing Christians, blonde hair, blue eyes. That's the problem in this world. Are you white folks? That's what the news media is basically saying in these here United States of America. But if you read this murderer's manifesto, he professes not to be a Christian. He professes to be a pagan. Hmm. That's not Christian. He also, yes, he says that, Christ, that Europe should go back to his Christian roots, but not saying that he's Christian. He's also one of them that neo-Nazis. Huh. I don't believe the Nazis were Christian, do you? Since they did imprison and sent to concentration camps many priests and nuns. And the Nazis weren't right wing, they were left wing. Nazi is an abbreviation for the National Socialist Party. Socialism are leftists. Gabish, That's what it is. So once again, the political correct crowd is hijacking the dialogue, the news, in this country, but we're not falling for it, kids, are we? All right, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.